What's going on folks? This is Cam Hillier from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge and today I want to show you the all new take on the Winnebago Echo. So this is the new Sprinter Echo, the 23B. On If you're a forum follower, you know this as the Spreco. Um, before we jump into this Spreco, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to turn on post notifications so you can get an update, a little ding, every time we post something really cool like this. So let's check this thing out. All right, guys, so we're in front of this Sprinter now. This thing is awesome. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, what your first, first thought is, because I really like it. So you can tell right off the bat, that you're going to have bigger tires so basically the the transit echo just to take a step back so the echo 22a that's on the transit chassis it's not going away it's it's still going to be available um winnebago just saw an opportunity to build on the sprint chassis they know there are a lot of people that want that diesel so they made it on this so it's going to be longer than your transit echo your treco if you will this one's going to be about 25 feet so it's going to be about foot and a half two feet longer um than what the Transit Echo is. Also, it's going to have bigger tires. So it starts off, you don't have to, like a lot of people when they would buy the, the 22A, right away they would want to lift it, put bigger tires on it. With this, you don't have to. You've got four inches extra uh, ride clearance, so four inches extra height. You've already got the bigger tires on it. So one, it looks fantastic. And two, the ground the ground clearance just makes it a heck of a lot better for actually going off-grid or off-road, um, off-grid as well. But So we'll start off with storage compartment here. So you're going to have... A pretty good size storage compartment here. You're gonna have access to your inverter right there if you ever have to change any settings on it or just a hard disconnect for it. So I wanna flip around and show you some of the other compartments where you can see them a little better. Okay, so now you can see a little bit better angle of what I was talking about the storage compartment here. Um, so you have the same door that you had on the Sprinter Echo. I'm sorry, on the Transit Echo. Very solid door here, made in the USA. Your screen door is gonna be a metal screen door which is always a big plus. Your dogs aren't gonna tear that up and it just will stand the test of time. The awning, we just got a big gust of wind. I guess it wasn't big enough, um, but the awning does have a wind sensor on it. It's also a smart awning, so if you crank your engine, it'll automatically pull the awning in for you. Um, but the wind sensor is great because when the wind picks up, it'll pull it in for you. So I really like that. I usually tell most of my customers, like, if you're gonna leave the RV, like you're gonna go somewhere, I would be safe and probably pull it in. The wind sensor is gonna do its job, but don't leave it to technology to fail. Let's just be smart. So you're going to have a storage compartment here. On the 22A Transit, you have a bigger storage compartment here where you can get the tailgater. So that's where you get the tailgate package. Where you can get the the uh, Dometic refrigerator um, and get the little sink and, and cooktop out there. Um, this, you, you don't have that option on the Sprinter chassis. Everything else you pretty much can still get. Um, but still, nice storage here. Um, and then you're also going to have hookups here for a TV or whatever you see fit. Um, and then these are gonna be your removable propane tanks. So same size propane tanks that you have on the Treco. Above that, you're going to have your panel or your your vents for your uh, water heater. It is the Truma AquaGo system. And then I wanna flip around so you can see the storage compartment here. So it's gonna have that same gear garage that the Treco had, except it's gonna be four inches bigger this time. So you get to store more in there and even the shape of it. I, I kind of prefer the shape of it as well. So let's check that out. Okay guys, so this is the door here. You can see the door itself is a little bit bigger. Um, so as I mentioned, the storage compartment is four inches bigger. So you've got Molly panels. Sorry, we got I got burned on one of the videos. You guys say I say so too much. So not so. Actually, <laughs> this has Molly panels, same as the Treco does. Um, on either side there so you can hang stuff up here um, and even if you don't hang anything it just looks great also you can put all your gear in here what I love about the uh, what I love about the cargo area gear garage if you will in the echoes are that they're heated and powered so you've got 110 power here and you've got 12 volt power and then you've got an output for your furnace so you can keep everything in here warm you can keep it temperature controlled it's it's really just a fantastic design um, you can access it from either side and the back. So that's a big plus too. We ordered this one with the Batwing awning, so it's going to be the same Batwing awning as the Treco has, which I'll put that out for you in a second. It's windy today, but it's super easy to do. Um, so we'll flip around the back so I can show you the Batwing awning and the rear access to the storage. So yeah, you can get a better angle of all the storage now. It's well, it's just massive, but this is great if you want to put bikes, e-bikes, ice chests. Since it's powered, you could even put a small secondary refrigerator in there if you wanted to. Um, kayaks will be pretty tight. I don't know if you fit that. I'd probably put that 
on the roof rack or maybe just put it in a, a bumper mount here. Um, so you also have your wet bay right here, which this I like over the Treco since the, the overall height of this RV is higher than what the transit version is. You, it just makes all this a lot easier to access. You don't have to bend down. I'm pretty average height, so it's all right here, easy to easy to fool with whenever you need it. Also, you've got a light out here, which makes it great for hooking up at nighttime. And here's the Batwing awning. So the Batwing awning is super easy to set up. This is one of my favorite things about it because if it was inconvenient, that wouldn't be much fun. No one would use it. But it's super convenient to take down and to put back up. And also, it offers great exterior uh not for a great exterior covered space so you can do a lot more of this van you're not just limited or this motorhome you're not just limited to what is uh underneath your traditional awning out in front so we'll grab it like this come over this way and then we are going to strap that Sorry guys, the wind is pulling this thing. It's like pulling it away from me. There we go. Yeah, so it's pretty easy. Like I said, it's a little bit harder in the wind because it kind of like pulls it away from me. And there's a leg right here that will swing down and give you a brace underneath. And then also you have a arm right here that you can push up and basically put an angle on this. So if it rains, the water will drip right off of it. So I love the bat wing line. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing up for the wind gets too bad. If I was in grass where I could stake down that leg, I'd leave it up, but I'm not staking it into concrete. So I'm going to put this up, and then we'll go check out the inside. Actually, we're going to check out some of the compartments that are over here. All right, guys, so I do want to mention, we always like to be honest with you. We're not here just to sell you stuff. We want to inform you. I will say I love the ride height of this Echo. Um, this Batwing awning, like, I'm 5'11", so either you just got to be a real man, be 6'4", um, or if not, like, maybe... A little stool or even I guess you could stand on the lip of that it was a little high getting it out wasn't really a problem putting it back up was a little bit difficult um, that's just my take on it uh, overall I, I it's still fine like I said bring a small stool I can step on that lip and it would have been a problem but that's just that's just my thoughts um, so on this side we're gonna have your five and a half gallon cassette toilet here which is locked so I cannot get it open but that's your cassette toilet there and they do lock it because I know people like to steal your poop. It happens all the time. So in this compartment here, you're going to have your Onan 2500i LP generator. So the propane generator is going to be what will come on this Echo. It's not going to have a diesel generator. That's not an option. Um, but standard is going to be the propane gen and the 320 amp hour lithium battery. You can upgrade the battery and get... So like what we typically recommend people do is order it with the gen and the battery. And then you can always add a second battery in here. It's very easy. You can just daisy chain it together. Very easy to add. Um, if you order it with the secondary battery, they basically just give you, instead of two 320 amp hours, they give you like one, I think it's a like one 620 or something like that. So it's a tad bit smaller than two. It doesn't really make much of a difference, but it's just a huge battery that goes there. I'd rather get the generator if your state allows it, i.e. California. Um, but uh, yeah, I'd probably get the generator and then just put the second battery there if you wanted it. So... Here I go again with the sews. Um, so you're going to have your, your sump pump here. Um, not, so you're not really going to be able to use that as storage, but it's here just in case you ever need to do any maintenance or anything to it. So let's swing around the... Here I go with the sews, man. You guys are killing me. <laughs> let's go around to the entry side and check out the inside of this coach. Okay, so we're inside of the Spreco now, and man, this thing is awesome. It looks a lot like the Transit version, like the 22A, as far as like the colors go. Um, there's a few really nice differences that just make it very ergonomically more comfortable. Um, so I do want to point out you have a way different front area. Since you have more space here, you get more in the gear garage, but really you get a lot more space inside. It feels bigger, more seating area, and even without the pop top, you can still sleep four in this because you've got the dinette space that makes it to a bed, and then you've got the Luna bed up front. I really, really like that. Um, also, with more space, you have more roof space. So with the new Spreco, with this 23B, you've got 530 watts of solar up top, 
for the non pop top for the pop top version you have 375 so that's a big plus there I do want to point out also the countertop space that you have here. So the sink was moved on the Sprinter version. So you've got your sink here, double sink pan or double sink covers, bamboo cutting board, of course, um, as you've come accustomed accustomed to with Winnebago. You've got movable shelves here. I always love the movable shelves. I love that you can change the height or take them out even if you want, so you can adjust it to make it fit your needs, not the needs of the engineer that designed it. So I really really like that. You're gonna have convection microwave here. Big time there. The convection is always nice to have. It's, it's just kind of makes it easier. You got the conveniences of an oven with, uh, or the conveniences of a microwave with the luxury of an oven. So we're gonna have our drawers here. So you do have the under underneath light here, the rope light that kind of shines down, so you can see into the drawers even if it's low lighting in here. Um, you do have the induction cooktop that comes, so it's removable, so you can put the the cooktop outside. You can cook, put it inside, and basically just put it wherever you see fit. Another drawer underneath here, this one's pretty deep, so you can find the use for that. And then underneath the sink, you're going to have more uh, storage here. And then that's... This looks like an extension, maybe? Guys, I'll be honest, I'm not sure what this is. I'll try to figure that out in the... If you know, let us know in the comments. I don't know what this is. We'll try to figure that out for you. Um, but yeah, great storage space underneath here. Of course, you've got your water filter underneath. Um, so this water coming through is going to be filtered. Um, so to the left, we've got our refrigerator. So this is the same Norcold fridge that you have in the transit version. But they lowered the fridge, so it's not at a weird height. It's at a very normal height for everyone to reach. So I like that. Also, above your fridge, you're going to have your control panels here. So I, with this, you don't have on the Treco, you have the, or on the older version, you have the thermostat. That you had to control with this your thermostat is integrated in with your monitor panel here so i really like that um also you can see i'm standing underneath the ac now so that's a big difference from the previous year model sprinter or uh, echo the ac was located above the bed which we got the feedback from it was very loud and just you couldn't really shut it off because it was right above you this is still ducted ac but your ac is here so it's going to be a lot more quiet when you're sleeping so i love that um also you're going to have your solar controller here as i mentioned you're going to have your monitor panel we can control your generator your water pump, all that good stuff. And then outside of the bathroom here is where you're gonna have your furnace controls for the AquaGo system. So <clears throat> I wanna show you the bathroom. If you've seen any of the Echoes, you know this is like the best feature on it. It's just worth the price of entry alone. It's what I always tell everybody that I think it's great. So I wanna show you this bathroom, just a quick little glimpse of it, what it can do. Okay, so here's our bathroom now. So this bathroom on the Echo, on the 23A and 23B, is the best bathroom in anything this class. Without a doubt, nothing even comes close. So technically, if you wanna say it's a wet bath, but really, it's not really a wet bath. Why do I say that? Because right now, you've got the function of the toilet, and you don't even see the shower. Like, man, there's no shower in this thing. That's crazy, but no, there is a shower. So you grab this latch here, and then you snap in this buckle there. And there you go. There's your shower now. Your toilet's covered. Your sink's covered. So now you can take a shower without getting all that stuff wet. It's fantastic. But you don't have the space or you don't have, you don't take up the space of two separate areas. It works like two separate areas, but it only takes up the space of one. It's fantastic. Um, so some other things that I like about the bathroom that in the, in the um, Echo are, I love that you have a vent for the AC. So it's not like this room is going to get, the bathroom's going to get really, really warm since you don't have a vent. It's got that, so it's going to stay nice and cool in here like the rest of the coach. Um, and then you also have a window. So all the windows in the Echo are dual pane acrylic. They all have the mounted blackout shade or the integrated blackout shade as well as the integrated uh, bug screen as well. Um, but I like having the window in the bathroom because you can just open it up, let things vent out. Or, I mean, even not just venting. I mean, if you want to get like a really great cross breeze in this, you can open all the windows and you get a cross breeze. It's not like the bathroom is going to be, you know, or excluded from getting the breeze. You can still do it too because you have a window in there. Now you also have a cabinet inside the bathroom where you can store your toiletries. Um, might be a little tight for towels. You could probably make something work if you're really creative though. Um, but guys, this bathroom is fantastic. Worth the price of admission alone right here. This bathroom is, is hard to beat. Um, so also beneath it, you're going to have like the bamboo slats that are going to keep from, basically just going to keep you from standing on the plastic. It does a really good job of running off and it just, it looks nice as well. Um, so yeah, I want to show you the bedroom. Uh, as I mentioned, since they moved the AC, it just makes the comfortability of sleeping a lot better. 
All right, so we're backed up into the bedroom now. So first I'll point out, you do have a curtain to kind of close off the bedroom from everything else, which is great. Um, but also you've got the steps that come up here, which you may not use them too often as a seat, but they're actually not bad. I can imagine like putting on like some hiking boots or something like that. It's really comfortable. Actually, this is a good height just to slip them on. You don't have to like crane your back too much. So I, I haven't actually thought of that purpose, but I'm sure a lot of you Echo, Echo owners probably use it for that. Um, so again, you have windows on either side, huge windows, so tons of natural light, great views for outside where you're parked. They both have integrated bug screens and blackout screens as well. Um, and as I mentioned, so you don't have the AC mounted right above the bed now. So it's going to be a lot quieter in here. So you can close that shade, kind of cut out some of that noise. And still you have uh, two vents here that are plenty enough to cool this. So you got a TV mount in the front. You don't have one that's mounted in the back from the factory but you've got the hookups where you can get one mounted here with no problem. Um, so this bed, I have it in the twin configuration right now. You can make it into the queen size bed as well. I believe it's a queen, um, but you can make it into that full size bed here um, with relative ease. I would say most folks we chat with like to leave it in the, in the twin bed just because it's easier to go in and out of the bathroom um, when you need. Um, yeah, so you've got storage behind on, on top, or I guess above either bed. And then in the middle, you're gonna have uh, your 120 and then your USB plugs here, as well as your night light and then your reading light as well. Well, I see that. Oh, there we go, they changed it. It used to be hold it down. Yeah, so there you go. And then also it's got a little tube here so you can actually, if you have like a CPAP or something like that, or even just for your phone charger, you can plug it in there instead of running your cake cord through the outside you can just run it through the hole here so it looks nice and sleek also you're gonna have storage underneath both beds so you got drawers underneath each both the beds will it's kind of hard to, both the beds will pick up and you can access everything underneath i mean how cool is that and then you've got storage right here as well now i do like to point out the euro springs that are on the mattress here that's super comfortable a lot of times in RVs, the mattresses are not the most comfortable. Usually you, you end up adding like toppers or stuff. These I really like. Um, I think most people are going to be really, really comfortable with it. All right, so that's it for the bath or for the bedroom. I want to take you to the front where they've got really the major changes that are on this spec. Oh, you guys are going to like this. All right, so we're at the front of the 23B now. And this is the biggest change that they've made on this spec. So now you have the of the facing dinette here. So because of that, you can make this into a sleeping space. You can sleep in an additional third person here and then a fourth person here. Um, it's a lot more comfortable than what I thought the, on the 22A is. The 22A is not bad, but I think this is, is a heck of a lot more comfortable and you don't have that table that's in your way. You just have the table here. Now, this table is it actually gets stored back there. I just kept right here for easy reach. So this is an adjustable table. So you see you've got the track there that it slides on. So let me demonstrate that for you. When it's in like this, you can put the table on the pedestal. Oops. And then you can move this thing however which way you want it, which is great because you can, again, configure it to how you're going to use it. Um, but yeah, I really like the layout of that. I like the comfortability of these seats. I think they're a lot more comfortable than the other ones, as I mentioned. Um, I just like uh, the feel of it. It just makes it feel a lot bigger here. You don't walk in and feel kind of claustrophobic, especially with the table gone. With the table, by the way, this thing is super open. Um, and then, of course, both these two front seats will swivel. Um, so it adds to the, the seating capability that you have when you can seat tons of people. So if you have one of these things, most of the Echo folks, y'all aren't going to be at campgrounds. But if you are at a campground for some reason, you know people are going to want to see this. So you can have people in and, and entertain really, really well. Um, you're also going to have a fantastic vent that's up here, so that actually moves a heck of a lot of air. So if you're somewhere where it's really muggy and humid like Louisiana in the summer, it's probably not going to do a huge amount of good. It'll help you cool it faster. Um, whenever you first get in on a really hot day, you can open that up and, and it can pull some hot air out. But if you're somewhere really nice where the weather's in the mid-70s and you don't want to run the AC, hey, open up the window, turn that little fan on. You're going to be really, really comfy. Um, also, the TVs behind me, as you can see, uh, and then below that, you've got the JBL soundbar. So I love the JBL. I've got JBL stuff at home. It's really good quality. It's really user friendly. Um, and also with JBL, you can link different speakers together, which is great just because you can kind of like give yourself surround sound with portable speakers. Uh, so I, I really like JBL. It's a fantastic product. 
Um, and then with the Sprinter chassis on here, so you do have the uh, navigation that comes from Mercedes, you have adaptive cruise. Now, the big difference of the area up here compared to the 22A is that on the transit chassis, you still have manual seats. On this, they're electric seats, they're heated seats, and they're really, I think, a little bit more comfortable than what they are on the transit. So that's a big time plus, a lot more ergonomic. Uh, and especially for like longer trips, you have a, a little extension that goes under the thighs that kind of supports the knees and makes it much, much better whenever you're going on longer trips. So I really like it. I, I think that Winnebago knocked it out of the park with this 23A or 23B. If you want to stick with the gas and you want something smaller, then maybe the, the Transit Echo might be the better option for you. But if you want a little bit more space, you want that diesel, this could be a great option for you. I'd love to give you any more information or answer any questions. If there was anything I forgot, let me know in the comments below. We'd love to get information from you too. I know a lot of you are experts as well. So <laughs> uh, guys, we appreciate you stopping by and as always, enjoy the journey. Hey there, thanks for watching this video. So we wanna remind you again to like this video, subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so we can keep you updated with the best that the RV industry has to offer. If you wanna stick around and watch some more videos, we've got a link for two videos here. So we'd love for you to stay and look at that. And if there's anything else that you want us to do videos on, leave comments. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the journey.